I just watched a video which was the second time that I've heard that you should write down what you want in your ideal life and write it in the present tense as if you have it right now. So hearing it for the second time, I thought, well, might as well try it since it only takes a couple minutes to write it down. So here's some of the stuff I wrote down. You can afford to buy this very house. You can renovate this house as much as you want. You exercise daily and you look like Bruce Lee and you enjoy exercising. I don't know if I'll get there of where I enjoy exercise. Maybe, we'll see, I don't know. You can buy whatever car you wish. That one's not very important because I don't desire a super fancy car or anything like that. Just something functional is enough for me. You're seeing a girl, you enjoy her company and have an outstanding sex life. You enjoy making videos and earn an insane income. You have a social life you enjoy. You can buy anything you want. You can fly first class anywhere, anytime. You enjoy life just like now but even more. That's just something off the cuff that I started writing, just anything that came to my mind. If I'm reviewing the points that I just said, basically I'm saying I want to be making videos and be insanely rich and also have the social life and romantic life part also handled. I mean, that's what everyone wants pretty much, right? I, I think that's a pretty general wish list, so to speak. So I wrote that down in a book here. I don't know if any of them will come true within a year, but a year's timeline is what a couple of them said, including Steve Harvey, I believe. I'm gonna give you two things that can change your life. You have not, cause you ask not. This is the truest statement you'll hear me say today. Now here's the exercise I want you to do. This gonna trip you out. Write everything you want from God on a piece of paper. Be as detailed as you can. Write it down. The object for you is to write down 300 things. But every morning, read your list. Take five minutes and read your list every night, every morning. One year from today, one, wait one year from today, and take a pen out and go down on your list and check off anything that has happened for you that's on that list. Listen to me, if you do that in faith, if you read your list with the expectation that God is gonna do some great things for you, at the end of one year, you will be stunned, absolutely stunned at how much stuff comes off that list. I promise you, at least 30 things will be off that list. But you know how I really know? Cause I did it. I'm telling you y'all, this how this works. You have not cause your ass not and write the vision and make it plain. You do them two things starting today. Write your list, read it every morning, every night. One year, check it off, you'll be stunned. I dare you to try that. Watch and see what God do. I'm editing the video right now and oh shit, I gotta rewrite my list in a lot more detail. And 300 things sounds excessive, but that was his instruction, so I think I'll give it a try. I've heard so many things about manifestation, like you get what you think about most of the time and all that jazz, but when it comes down to it, I don't end up thinking about my monetary goals and all the different goals I have on a regular basis. And I think partly the reason is it seems pretty ethereal, like intangible. Like just having more money is just having the potential to get any material thing or service that you want at any time. So you're desiring for the potential or desiring specific things that you buy with money. And honestly, thinking about those things doesn't really appeal to me. I don't know if my resistance to thinking towards that is a bad thing, but even after reading the book, The Strangest Secret, and it said, read a note every day, multiple times a day, of one thing that you want. I read it for like a day or two or maybe three days and then I realized I don't like thinking about just having more potential to buy stuff. Like it just didn't, didn't feel good to keep reading that goal again and again and it also got kind of, I got kind of numb to reading it. Anyways, all that's to say I guess some manifestation stuff that requires a little bit of effort where I'm just writing stuff down I'm willing to do but other things like thinking about it all day, most of the day, every day, is just not something that I'm really interested in. Even though so many people swear by it really working and changing their lives and getting all the things that they ever wanted in life. Is it weird that I feel resistance to that kind of daily manifestation activities? Anyways, I've been getting back on track with my exercise, so I'm really happy about that, just getting it done first thing in the morning. So let's keep this momentum going, or inertia as a scientist might say. 1% better 
Every day, baby. I was gonna do arms today, but my chest is sore from yesterday, so even lifting my arms hurts. So I'm going to switch to legs today and do step-ups, five plus minutes on each leg. Let's do this. <sighs> Okay, so that was over 14 minutes, so seven minutes on each leg. Considering my butt got sore last time from just 10 minutes total, doing two minutes more on each side, I might get sore again tomorrow. We'll see. Mission accomplished. My goal is to post a new additional video once a week. What I'm going to post, that is the tough question. I'll give it a shot. By the way, usually during my walk, I smile and nod at everyone who passes by and a lot of people respond positively. Some of them just don't even look or ignore, but I haven't been able to do the smile and nodding because of my mask. So instead I just hold up my hand as a wave and a lot of people respond and with a wave or smile or nod themselves. And when I just passed by a guy, I waved at him and then he, he waved back and he smiled. And just a small thing like that, it's an instant mood boost. I just instantly feel better. I'm like, oh, that was nice. He smiled back. And it just instantly made me feel better. Yeah, that's a pretty cool thing that even within small, tiny little interactions with strangers, you can get such a mood boost from that. Just something I was thinking as I was walking. Good morning, Tega. Tega came for morning cuddles again. You already tired? It's not as cold as yesterday, so Mochi wanted to come out for a walk today. That's surprising. She hasn't wanted to go for a walk for quite some time now. They're eating the bird seeds. And Mochi's chasing them away. <laughs> <laughs> 